write down every single identity you have from there ask yourself what is the most empowered version of this identity look like like if we use the father identity right if you want to be a good father what would you consider that to be is the father present is the father loving is the father empathetic is he a leader is he a teacher is he a friend is he a mentor how does he show up to support his children does he allow them to fail does he allow them to learn when you finish this exercise your paper is going to be filled like you're, you're going to have just freaking branches of branches of branches of how do you show up powerfully in one identity and then do that for every identity your paper is full but then now that you have the awareness this jumps into the law of exposure this also activates another part of your brain called the reticular activating system which makes us hypersensitive and hyper aware to the things that we want which is probably going to be that empowered identity. Now, the law of exposure is also interesting because the law of exposure is a law of the universe that talks about how once you're exposed to a piece of information that can change, transform and change your life, you can never be unexposed to it, which means with your conscious awareness of what the most empowered version of you is, you can't deny that. You would either have to acknowledge, like maybe your client, like you're being a lazy piece of crap because you know what the best version of you is and you're not reaching it, or you utilize this information to change your life. But now you might be like, Vin, how can I really utilize this information to change my life? I have the identity, but I don't know how to step into it. Well, I got you, friend. That's the five aspects of self-mastery. The only five things you can control in this entire universe. You can only control your thoughts, your language, your behaviors, your actions, and your emotions.